team song. <laughs> they changed it. It was, yeah, it was good. <laughs> Plenty of energy. Um, oh, look, I, I thought that we put ourselves under some pressure again to, to start the second half, but the, the defence and the scramble was good, uh, especially with 12 men. You put together some uh, some terrific sequences in that final 15 minutes of the, the first half, which is where most of your points came from. Yeah, well, I thought we played some really good footy, but it was um, in blocks. You know, we've got to try and those blocks a bit um, longer and you know, sustain pressure for longer periods. Um, you know, we probably would have liked to the game to keep rolling before half time instead of coming in for the break. And you know, we went out and started the second half. Effort was there. We were just, you know, we we'll, uh, you know, we'd probably need to be a touch more focused uh, with our mentality to start the second half. Two wins for me last three games. It's um, a good reward for the players to be working hard. I think, in my opinion, since the Cowboys win in Darwin, I think we've played real good footy. Um, we've played against the Dragons, and you know, well, we've played some games that we we probably should have won, um, and we've been in every every game. So, you know, the boys haven't given up. The, the effort's been there. Like I said the other day at training, that they're still, um, you know, preparing to try and play to win, and we need to continue to do that so we've got something to build from. Um, through the pre-season. We spoke on the atti- about the attitude last week, Brad, that you guys were standing up, and again, to back that up today, is that the most pleasing thing where, where you guys are at the lab but still showing performances like that? Yeah, well, you know, we look a bit like what we're supposed to look like and what we did last year over the last six games, um, even though we haven't won those. We, you know, last year we won those tight games and we managed to find ways to, to lose those tight games, you know, a couple of those tight games over the last month but you know confidence is a big part of that as well um but you know we, the boys know that they, they keep turning up with the same effort at, at some stage we'll be able to you know regain a bit of confidence and and make the pass when it's on you know george jennings took a nice catch there tonight a pass behind him you know a couple of weeks ago we probably dropped that you must have been pretty pleased with your, your playmakers options through the game there as well <laughs> yeah um yeah we took some Right options, um, which helps, and I thought our kicking game the last 20 minutes was was probably a real good um, indicator of our mentality of grinding the game out at the end. Tim, you seem to take it upon yourself in the the early part of the game there to really give the team some go forward. Yeah, we spoke about the importance of the start of our game. And I think you know the, the energy was great. Um, you know, it was it was kind of pointed out that our warm up probably wasn't as energetic as it has been the last few weeks. Um, but to see the boys once they go onto the field and, and start with high energy is something that you know, I'm really proud of them and um, that's probably been the, you know, the key for our game tonight was the high energy we played with. When was the last time you were Sinbin? <laughs> well, I haven't been Sinbin my whole life. Like, okay. Going back since I was a kid and I've done, been Sinbin twice <laughs> this, in one year now, so I've got to fix up my behaviour, yeah. I guess. Right, only, only 6,000 people here. Um, is that tough to swallow, I guess, or is it like a reflection of where you guys are at at the moment? Yeah, well, look, it's disappointing, but... Um, you know, when you're sitting where we are, that's that's what happens. Um, you know, hopefully, our supporters and fans can see that the boys are, are still putting in and you know, trying to play uh, play with a bit of pride and for the jersey. So um, it'd be nice to, to get a few more numbers next week. Yeah. You've lost five games, I think, this year um, by six points or less. When you get this couple of wins coming close, do you sort of start to think, what if? Or not think about that. Oh, we can't think of that. You know, we've lost seven games from you know, like where we've scored the same amount of tries. So, um, you know, we seem to be on the right path at the moment with our the way we're playing. Like the results still don't um, reflect that, but we're on the right path, and we just need to make sure that we don't, you know, take any steps backwards. There's obviously a little bit of external focus in the lead up to the game on the fact that uh, Jared was playing against his former club, and obviously he scored a nice try set up. One, were you pretty happy with his input today? Yeah, he's been good, really solid for us, you know, since the Cowboys game, since he came back, he's put six games, I think, together, so, you know, that's the key for him, you just got to keep staying on the on the paddock and, and getting better. Brad, the decision to bring Ben French off about 10 minutes ago, what was the one that? Oh, you know, I needed to get Jamin on the field, no, you know, didn't want to, um, he's been excited to play, he come up, you know, he helped design the new team song, so, need to give him a chance to, um, to taste, um, victory and that's just what worked out tonight. Um, we trained differently during the week but it's just the way it went tonight, it's what was needed. It's a new team song, Barsley, from the old team song, from Melody, we've got instruments, so what's the difference? 
Oh, it's just a bit more energy. It's more exciting, I suppose. I haven't had a chance to sing it very often this mm. week, this year, so...